Today we are at the Safety Jogger Classic. They have organized a world record attempt for me by turning one, the most 180 degrees in one minute. In 2005 I broke Mark Vinko's uh, record by 26. He had, he had 25 the year before. In 2006 I set the new record to 31 in China. And now a couple of months ago the British rider Andre Burton, he broke my record to 34. So today I will have to try and make 35 of it. So fingers crossed and hopefully I have a new Guinness World Record tonight. My dad, who built this course, is known for making it really technical and physical. So it sure promises to be an exciting battle. Donc je m'appelle Gilles Coustelier, je viens de Martigues en France, j'ai 23 ans, je pratique la compétition depuis l'âge de 10 ans, 10 ans et demi. Le sport en général me plaît, l'ambiance, le stress, le public qui est derrière nous, donc ce sport me plaît de plus en plus. So I'm Vincent Hermans, coming from France near Paris. I'm 25, I ride for like uh, 10 or 15 years now. I start with uh, motor trials because my father did uh, the sport. And then I quit completely the, the engine part of this, uh, of trials to, to get focused on the bike because it's the easy access to the sport with what I enjoy. <laughs> In a trials competition, we have to clear a course of obstacles placed into six sections without putting a foot on any surface. If you do so, you get penalty points. One lap consists out of six sections and we have to ride them twice. The rider who has the least penalty points at the end of the day is the winner. There are only 8 riders left in the final and today I start between Vincent and Gilles because I got second in the semi-finals. This is very important because it's a luxury if you can start last. It means you're in the driver's seat so you can watch the riders in front of you. On the other hand, you need to be strong mentally and never stress out about your opponent's actions, whether they ride good or bad. 
An official UCI jury member walks along and points out our penalty points with his hand. One penalty point is given if we put one foot on the ground, scrub the obstacles with anything else but the tires, such as the pedals, handlebar or frame, and last but not least, exceed the time limit of 2 minutes and 30 seconds. Every 15 seconds of extra time, we get a point with a maximum of 5. We mostly reach the finish with only a few seconds left, and a heartbeat of 180 beats per minute is very common. Even guys like us who train 4 hours a day get to deal with it all the time. Don't forget the race lasts about 1 hour and a half, so the fitter you are, the easier you get over the obstacles. The worst thing that can happen is getting 5 penalties immediately. That will be when you swing your wheels over the arrows or tapes, break down an arrow, rip the section tape apart, or when you put both feet on the ground, crash and your hands or upper body touch the surface or obstacles. Getting a fiver is pretty brutal because you have to quit this section instantly. The race is only over after the last zone. My experience learned me to take advantage of other riders' mistakes. You gotta avoid stupid penalties and believe in your own skills until you reach the finish. En dan, dames en heren, het moment waarop u, ik en heel veel anderen op gewacht hebben. Graag een massaal applaus voor de winnaar van vandaag, Kenny Benay. Like uh, like last year, the the course is very technical, like very sh very sharp edged uh, rocks and very long, so very physical as well. So I knew it was going to be Gilles or me and uh, Vincent. Wasn't that afraid? from him but for sure I was from Gilles and again he proved he's like a very very good rider he was taking quite a lot of risks but um, I, I never thought I had to do anything stupid and I just stayed focused and just gave the best of myself Faire des compétitions comme aujourd'hui en plein milieu d'un centre-ville avec euh, avec du public tout ça fait que justement euh, c'est les choses qui pourront faire que on sera de plus en plus médiatisé Pour aujourd'hui, j'ai euh, pas eu trop de chance en fait. Je fais quand même second, c'est déjà pas mal et euh, satisfait à 100%. At the beginning of the season, I realized that uh, I couldn't win with the level I had. So there is no problem for me, like being third, because I've done my best, more than my best, you know. So if it's not possible, it's not possible. I wasn't good enough. That's it. After this stressy weekend, I think it's time to chill a little bit. I'm giving a barbecue in my house tomorrow, so I think everybody's gonna enjoy it and it's gonna be a hell of a good time. I hope you learned a bit more about trial biking by now, and I'm convinced this sport will continue to grow, because it's a great way to express yourself. My victory today is a great reward for all the hard work I've done, but it never comes alone. 
And that's why I want to thank my coach Paul, my girlfriend Fien who is supporting me all the way in everything I do, my brother as well for giving me advice during the competitions because it's so important to make the right decisions. Last but not least, I want to thank my parents. Without their support and full dedication for over 17 years now, I wouldn't be able to live this dream.